Hey pretty people, welcome back to the channel. It's Emily and we just pulled up to Bricks and Mini Things in Austin, Texas. Woo! Ross is here too. Let's go. As a lot of you guys know, we've been working so hard on a Lego city and it's really starting to come together, but we are running out of parts so quickly, especially plates, which they have a lot of here. So we're definitely gonna stock up on those, but also Ross is looking for something special too. Three rings given to the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the dwarven lords. The halls of anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ross really wants Lord of the Ring sets. So hopefully they have some in stock today. We actually picked one up very recently and Ross was super excited about it. So hopefully we can find some more. There's also a really good sale going on for bulk Lego pieces, which will be very handy for us who go through pieces like Mad Men working on our Lego City. They're calling it the bulk pale sale. So I'm excited to see what that means when we head in. But essentially for $30, you get to fill up a big gallon sized pail. I assume it's like a bucket thing. And after spending the initial $30 to fill up your pill the first time, you can fill it up every day up until Thanksgiving for only $20. So it's a really good deal if you want to stock up on bulk pieces, which we might be doing today. I pale to see your reasoning. Other bulk lots pale in comparison to this deal. Be sure to shovel those pieces in like a sandcastle. It's been a while since the last time I was in, so I'm really excited to see all of the new stuff on the shelves. Hopefully they have Lord of the Rings and maybe some Toy Story. I'm like on the lookout for some of that stuff as well. Some Scooby. Anyways, Ross, are you excited to head in? Let's go. Bricks and minifigs. Bricks and minifigs. Bricks and bricks and bricks and minifigs. Thank you, Ross. All right, so we just got into bricks and minifigs. Ross, are you excited? Yo, check this out. All right, so I was just talking to you guys about how much I love Hobbit and Lord of the Rings sets. Uh, you know, they kind of give us a tease. Apparently, we're getting some Lord of the Rings sets early next year kind of like oh so close but they're brickheads but hopefully that means we're getting some play sets coming up there's some rumors but we'll see but check we'll this out. see this is one of the best sets i think uh it's from the battle of five armies which i think was kind of the weakest movie of the three of the hobbit trilogy but this is the best set because it comes with schmaug schmaug which is actually benedict cumberbatch you know that so it's <laughs> actually a doctor strange dragon the bags one and two are open but three through six are sealed whoever had this set before they traded in all they did is open it built the dragon and then put it back on the back. So, so weird. Yeah, really weird. So for the most part, it's a mostly sealed set, half sealed set. This is a really good deal on it. I just got one new unbox for about 400-ish on eBay. And uh, this is just like a must have set for any Lego Lord of the Rings fan. Mostly, mostly for Smog. Who doesn't want Smog, right? But then right below it, something even more exciting. Lego Scooby-Doo Lighthouse. I already have this and I actually have two of these boats. So I really just don't need this in my collection. I do love like the shaggy in this though with like the seaweed on his shirt. I just think that's really cute. And it comes with Daphne as well as the lighthouse keeper and a swamp creature. But I think we have enough lighthouses in our city right now. Check it out. They got planes, trains, and automobiles. I like these trains a lot. I'm not up to date on what like train set Lego is currently selling. So I don't even know if these are newer or older or not. I really like getting into the train stuff. The problem is they take up so much space with like the tracks that we have to kind of like cut back on getting any trains. I really want to get a bunch of trains for the city and have like a train yard kind of thing like underneath the different platforms we have going on. But maybe we'll get to that at some point. This is like my guilty pleasure set that I keep begging Emily to get me and she won't get me because it, it you know, Lego price it at $70 is at retail. But I mean, look at it. It's come with a little piggy and then it comes with little piglets and then a little lamb and a little calf. It That's is really cute. Look at the little so cow. Cute. Look, it's got a cow washing. <laughs> There's even a white squirrel there. That's cute. Okay, maybe we will get it one day. All right, guys, so check it out. They actually have a really good selection of retired Star Wars sets that are sealed, and they got some open ones in the back. We'll check out, but check this one out. So this is the escape pod. This is from that scene at the beginning of New Hope where like the Imperial officers are like, oh, there's an escape pod, but there's no life on board. Should we shoot at it? And they're like, nah, let's save bullets. Cause why not? If they had just shot at this escape pod, that would have been it. <laughs> yeah. The, that would have no been Star the end Wars. of Star Wars. That's it, yep. <laughs> oh, this one, I really want it, but ah. Uh, Okay, so this is the Sith Infiltrator. I only had the very first Sith Infiltrator from like 1999. So this is like a really cool like update to it. Looks great, I absolutely love it. But the big thing here is that it comes with that molded Watto. And I believe this is the only way you could get that Watto. And I really want that Watto. I Watto that Watto. You Watto the Watto. <laughs> <I> Watto that <laughs> Watto. And honestly, Kid Anakin Skywalker looks kind of cute. And then check this out. They actually got two of these uh, Lars Family Homesteads. So these were the sets that came out during the same time as the Luke's Land Speeder set, I believe. In the aftermarket, they're going about 50. So I think that's a very good price for what these are going for. Again, this is one of those sets that I actually would never even open because I just think the box looks nice. It looks really good. Over here, this is a cool set. I think I always kind of had FOMO on this set when it came out. This is from The Force Awakens. This is the First Order Transporter. I like this one a lot. Obviously, it comes with Captain Phasma, so that's a big plus. It comes with a fair amount of troops. 
both for the resistance and for the uh, first order. So overall, I think this is a pretty cool set. Kind of regret not getting it. And then here's one that I haven't seen here in a while, the Big Ben. That is just absolutely crazy. So this came out, I think before I was even into Lego and I think I've only seen it built once or twice here. So that's kind of a treat. They have those little weird little minifigure pieces from um, back when Lego used to make board games. Kind of cool seeing those little things used as like statues. Okay, so this is a really cool set. I think this is like one of the OG Bricklink designer sets. I don't know much about it, but it's very like anime expressive. I really, I really like it. It's a very unique piece. So it's like a brick and everybody's coming out of the brick screaming. We've been getting a little bit more castle and pirate sets making their way, but we haven't got a lot of Western sets because honestly the last Western theme we've really had with Lego was uh, Lone Ranger, which was like 2012, 2013-ish. So these sets are so cool to see. Their guns are like really realistic. I'm surprised Lego went with that. I love the hair pieces on her. That's really good. Absolutely gorgeous. It was a great, great set. And I've never seen the movie. I always meant to. I never got around to seeing it, but I guess it didn't do so well. And it's a shame because the Lego sets from them are phenomenal. Yeah, this is beautiful. They also have pretty much every current modular on the shelves right now. The bookshop, assembly square, police station, and then the Parisian restaurant. Isn't this one actually retired now? Or it's retiring it soon, retired. right? Yeah, it's yeah. actually retired. This is our first modular, so that's very special to us. Well, there's even like a dragon here. I don't really know what this is from but that's so cool Aww. true fans know oh okay i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they even have my favorite set here this one just kind of freaks me out a little bit i don't know what it is something about it just kind of freaks me out and on this front wall here there's a lot going on so i'm just gonna pan over and show you some of the best stuff here so obviously right off the bat the eiffel tower this thing is just gigantic it like almost hits the ceiling in here that is just so impressive it's eiffelly big isn't it it's eiffelly tall yes and then we also have the king pig's castle from angry birds i don't think i've ever seen this set before so that's really kind of a treat i love the snout on the front that's kind of fun and then there's like a snake or something wrapping around the tower i think it's a slide i guess it's a slide yeah, it's just like a very interesting castle. It's like a very cartoonish kind of build. And then over here, this is kind of a treat as well. The Lego City House from 2010. That's kind of crazy. It's just a very simple, you know, city house, but it feels very retro to me. I really like that. And then there's also the Treehouse Adventures in the back there. I love like the little teddy bear in the front. That's really cute. All right, so check this out. So this is from Galaxy Squad. I really like Galaxy Squad. This is about when I stopped collecting Lego for a bit, but... These things are terrifying. Like, look at that giant alien centipede. Like, I like to imagine this is like Super Troopers meets Lego, which if you know what Super Troopers is, it's, uh, it's a pretty gruesome movie. Pretty much alien bugs are fighting against, uh, you know, human soldiers. And, it's scary. Yeah, that's what I like to imagine this is like. Pretty terrifying. Happy Halloween. All right, and again, I always like to pump these out because you can't really get these in America very easily, but... Bricks and Minifigs up here in Austin has got a pretty good deal on being able to grab some of these foil packs that are European exclusive. My favorite are always going to be the ones with the figures, so you get a Bespin Luke for 12 bucks. That's pretty good. Um, you got some Snow Troopers, you got Finn, you got Black Widow. So overall, I think this is really cool. And then a lot of cool micro builds too, right? Like the little probe droid. I found a gunship down here as well. Yeah, Interceptor. Yeah, every time I come here, they have new stuff. It's pretty cool. And then right in the front here, we have this exclusive minifigure. It's like for the 100 Lego stores in North America kind of thing. But then right behind it, there's like the NBA player pack. All the different legs kind of spring a little bit. Oh, and I've never seen a box legs. for it. Yeah, the springing legs. So that's really cool. They have a lot of cool like IP in this shelf here. So, you know, you see just a bunch of random things like SpongeBob, Angry Birds, Lone Ranger, Scooby in the back there. Scooby, <laughs> Muppets. They got the newest CMFs, which we oh, have yeah. and we haven't opened it yet and because we're terrible, but look at that turkey. I love that turkey. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Okay, so like funny story, I was going to get Emily this gate from Jurassic Park. We really wanted it and, you know, we're kind of on the fence for a while and we tried to order it and then I think like it just, you know, went out of stock and then it retired and then that was it. And we're like, oh man, I don't want to pay anything on the aftermarket for it. Well, luckily we didn't because they came out with that little vignette set. But here's the set that we did originally want was that T-Rex Rampage. Look at that. I just loved it. Like the dinosaur is gigantic and then the gate itself, like everything about the set is just huge. Plus it comes with some of the favorite characters from Jurassic Park, which is really exciting. I am kind of pumped that I never picked this one up, but I love that little vignette. Like that's good enough for me. Also, I thought it'd be kind of fun to like color swap the dinosaur to make it pink or something. I don't know. I just thought that'd be funny. Oh, and then they have Voltron here. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen this one built before. I've seen the box once or twice in store, but that looks really good. That's a super cool set. This is one of those really like 
top idea sets, I think. And remember, it's Voltron, so you could actually take it apart and make five different lions. Really? I'm not lying to you. <laughs> and there's one for the gunship gang. Gunship look, gang. Look at it, it's gunship glory. All right, so here you can see the desolation that is the uh, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit section. You ain't got a lot going there. You see Gandalf, uh, the wife, he's uh, Saruman as he should have been. But that's about it, I think, they have for the Lord of the Rings figures. It's almost as if Lord of the Rings is really popular and LEGO should make more sets about them or something. I don't know. Anyways, sure got a lot of Harry Potters over here. <laughs> yeah, they definitely have a ton of Harry Potter right now, which is super exciting. Plus, seeing the original Diagon Alley back there, I just love it. It's a really nice little play scale version of it. I have the bigger version. I haven't built it fully yet, but I'll, I'll get around to it. This set has puzzled me for a long time because I think it is an amazing set. This is the X, really like the only X-Men set. There was like one other one with Deadpool a while ago, but now that X-Men is going to be officially MCU soon, I can foresee this set going up in price a lot. I can't believe it's still this cheap at $80. That's what it's going for. If I were a big X-Men fan, I would come in and get this as soon as I can. It comes with Wolverine with the cowl. You can get him now in that uh, little like weird mech that he has, but it also comes with Storm and Cyclops. Like how cool is that? Plus it comes with that Century from Days of Future Past. And I think it's an awesome, awesome set. And the, the jet is cool. I just don't understand why people aren't like swarming over this set. I think it's one of the best. And then looking at all the different Marvel minifigs down here, I am so happy we got She-Hulk because I don't see her now. And I feel like the price on that probably went up a lot. Like I loved that show. This is like lame, The like the figure that I want the most right now out of all the Marvel figures is gonna be Mary Jane over here with the little cute um, Spider-Man oh. top. That's cute. I've always wanted this uh, one particular figure for some reason, and it's just like been hard to track down. So this is the first time I've actually seen it, so I might consider grabbing her today. All right, it's time for Star Wars. Okay, guys, they have like a lot of good stuff right here. Mostly just concentrated on this white base plate. You got Embo the Bounty Hunter, super cool. It's actually played by Dave Filoni. You got two Commander Foxes, which is incredibly rare to find. They're going for 90 a piece, which I think is pretty much what they go for. Those only came in like a uh, Toys R Us exclusive homing spider droid set, like in 2009. Behind that, you got another red shock trooper. Absolutely love those. Lego, please make more of those. $90 is too much for a, uh, an army building troop. You got some ARC troopers. You got Hera from Rebels. You got some uh, Super Commando Mandalorians over here behind this white clone right here that goes along with Darth Maul back there. And you also got a phase one Commander Cody looking good. You got Kanan. You also have Chopper back there. I love Chopper. Yeah. And then check this out. Go all the way back to the right of that white base plate. Oh, and Ezra. You, see you got, oh yeah, you got Ezra. You got Tarkin, Krennic, and then you got Grand Admiral Thrawn, oh, as well fun. as a Phase One Captain Rex right behind him. Look at that! This is stock. Yeah, this is popping. And they said they actually had more, and they were just cleaned out recently. So I would definitely be in here grabbing a lot of these figures if I didn't already have them. These yeah, that's awesome. a really good selection. While we were filming another part of the store, we heard the manager talking about uh, this tauntaun. You want to hear the joke, Emily? Yeah. Okay. What's the joke? What's the uh, temperature in the inside of a tauntaun? I don't know. What is it? It's lukewarm. <laughs> Sorry, Gary, I took your joke. <laughs> and I thought it smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> okay, so check it out. We're gonna go through some of the used sets here pretty quick. Over here, I wanna talk about, so we still don't have this set. This is the only set based off of Andor right now. If you are not watching Andor, you are missing out. Great, great show. Then you moving up here, this one's really cool. This is Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter. There's a few Jedi Starfighters here today, as well as Jedi Interceptors. This is actually the first time I've ever seen the Mandalorian helmet. Then over here we have the TIE Striker. Absolutely love this set. I was able to get this set new in box here a while ago, so I'm glad I had it. And then again, we see a few more Jedi Interceptors, and we got a whole little haul of ATSTs. Look at that, 2016, 2019. And uh, 2022, that's a lot of ATST. Another Jedi Starfighter and another Rogue One set. Man, they're stacked today. A lot of great stuff. All right, then looking over at Friends here, they have the Main Street buildings used for $100. It retails for $150, and we have two of them in our city. They look really good back to back, actually. But then looking up here, we have the Friendship Bus from 2020. This one is just adorable. I do not own this set, but it's one that I would love to get at some point, but I just don't know where it would fit in the city. And there's, there's Ross. All right, so check this out. This is kind of a unique thing. This, this like drew my eye immediately. I had to talk to the owner of the store to figure out what's going on here. Somebody made a custom pinball set and it actually works. There's like a motor and everything. Um, I think there's a little bit of like tweaking that needs to get done, but check this out. So, right, you can essentially pull this back and then you can hit those. Uh, let's do a better job. Yeah. Woo, you okay, won. Last try. 
Wow. That's actually so cool. Oh my gosh. Lego Star Wars pinball. <laughs> it's so creative. So yeah, somebody actually made this and uh, came and sold it to the store. So man, this is really cool. Look You're really that. good at it. Look at you go. Oh, never mind. Uh -oh. oh no, <laughs> you broke it. User error. <laughs> so apparently the same person who came in with that pinball machine also came up with this really cool contraption. I think it's kind of like some sort of D&D &D world building game. But look at this. So you can spin some knobs and it actually like terraforms the board a little bit. I'm not very familiar with the game, um, but maybe someone in the comments can let me know a little bit more about it. I'm very interested in it. Uh, help us with our research here. But this is pretty cool and it's very ingenious how they do it. So I... If you're coming to town here, I would definitely try to check this out. This is pretty cool. Look at that. That's just like amazing yeah. how that works. Oh yeah, you just spin it and it kind of terramorphs things. That's incredible. That's dope. Do people still say dope? I don't know. <laughs> this comes from the uh, the era of DC sets that I think were the best. This is like an amazing set. Uh, it comes with Cheetah, Lex Luthor, Firestorm. Awesome set and it's right now only going for $60. This is like 10 years old. This is an amazing set. I can't believe you guys are sleeping on things like this. Moving on here, this one's pretty cool. So this is uh, gonna be Guardians of the Galaxy. Only reason I would ever really want this set, it comes with two exclusive figures, Yondu and Aisha. Uh, Aisha was like in the movie for like a half a second. All right, so now check it out. The most exciting part of this whole entire store. 16 by 16 plates. Woo! Check it out. So exciting. I'm gonna grab some of those. We're mostly going to A ton green. of green. Maybe some dark gray. Dark those could be kind of nice. One. And even some of the base plates that are like oh, yeah. smaller like this. The half base plates. Yeah, that would be great. We've even learned that uh, these like quarter base plates come in handy a lot too. So I would recommend grabbing those. This store rocks. So it's that time of the day where we go to Bricks and Minifigs and there's the rare set vault. What's in the vault today? What's in the vault? Looks like Dublo, Thomas and Friends, to be fair, that is really cool. It's a really cool set. I really wish Lego like made like system sets for Thomas Tank Engine. I understand that's gonna be a hard market to fill. But it really, I would buy it. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. pretty cool. I would love like a Thomas the Tank Engine train for the city. Like that'd be so fun. It would be really cool, huh? Ooh, and then these are so much fun, you guys. So they have a whole base plate here just filled with Halloween minifigures and spooky horses. Spooky everything. These are so fun. We've had a blast decorating for Halloween this year, especially in the Lego City. So we're definitely going to pick up some of these. What do you like the most, Ross? I am a big fan of these printed jack-o'-lanterns. It's cool. These are like different. So this one, these are the ones that kind of came with like the Spider-Man sets. You saw these a little bit more recently. The Hobgoblin throws them around at people. And I believe this is like the really old one from like the old school Harry Potter sets. I'm surprised I have so many of these. So I'm definitely going to be grabbing a few of them. One pumpkin, two pumpkin, three, three pumpkin. pumpkin. Oh no! Four, Four pumpkin, five pumpkin, pumpkin six, six pumpkin. pumpkin. All right, and I just got the rundown for the bulk pail sale going on right now at Bricks and Minifigs. So this is the pail that you can use and fill it up with bulk Lego pieces. Typically this size goes for $40, but right now through the end of the month, you can fill it up for $30. Plus you can bring it back and fill it up up to once per day through the end of the month for only $20. So it's a really good deal, especially if you need to stock up on bulk pieces. They have a lot in stock right now. It's perfect for Lego city building, for mills, and it's a really good deal. Oh wow, and they also have the Coliseum here right now. This is crazy seeing it in person. I feel like I would not enjoy building this at all. So if you're like me and you wanna get it already built so you don't have to build it, they do have one in stock. My favorite are the pictures of cats taking naps inside of it. And then in this middle area here, they have three giant sets on display right now. So this here is the bucket wheel excavator for 350. This looks terrifying to build, honestly, but it looks kind of cool. They also have a crane for 120. There's just so much technic going around. It kind of makes me nervous. Wouldn't it be terrifying if this was actually a Decepticon? But then here we have City Gardens. This is one of my favorite Lego sets. Like this is just absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. We're still trying to find a good home for it in the Lego City. We're thinking like in the ocean area, but it's just kind of there for now. I don't know if it really fits in too well, but it's just always so much fun seeing it built here. Oh, it's Nemo. All right, so Ross is talking Lord of the Rings with the store clerk over there. I'm just checking out some of what's going on in these bags here. Normally you don't find much, but sometimes there's like little mystery machines or mini Scooby things going on here. So I always like to check. All right, there wasn't any Scooby over there, but now I'm thinking it's just about time to check out. Ross got Mary Jane. This dance with Mary Jane. All right, so we just left Bricks and Minifigs. Ross has my purse. I have the Lego. I think he looks really stylish, actually. He looks good. <laughs> All right, but now, the real question is, are you ready for a car haul? Car haul. Car haul. Car haul. Car haul. All right, 
Uh, this car haul is going to be a little weird because we actually have another set we want to show you from last week. We just didn't get a chance to film it, but Woo! stay tuned for that. Right now, show them what we got, Emily. We got plates. Wow. Plates you guys and never saw plates. that. Never saw that coming. And we have to go home. We got thick plates. Wash them. And then we could be part of the Clean Plate Club. But then we also got pumpkins. They're so cute. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about the pumpkins. But then, I actually have this shirt. We have MJ. So cute. Finally get her. I've really I wanted this. her. It's like silly. You know, she's not like actually a superhero. She's just Mary Jane. But uh, yeah. I'm just always... Mary Jane, <laughs> Ross. I'm How dare you? I'm really happy to have her. So now my Spider-Man collection is pretty much complete. And then so like a week or two ago, um, we were really busy. I was out doing something for work and Emily w just happened to go into Bricks and Minifigs and she was able to score me the pirate ship from Lord of the Rings. Pirate Ambush, I think it is. It's the set where all the ghosts are coming and they're helping fight the orcs and stuff. And Aragon was able to convince them to like join the cause. It was pretty cool. It was on my like list of top Lord of the Rings sets that I had to have. And so now, boom, we got that checked off. So next, mine's a Moria. Then we're good to go. No, then we need the Pizza Planet truck. That's not Lord of the Rings. But I want it. Okay. Pizza Planet truck and mine's a Moria. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching. As always, we had so much fun at Bricks and Minifigs. We were probably in there for like an hour and a half, just like talking, hanging out, shopping, seeing everything that was new. We come to their store in Austin, Texas all the time. Like, please come check them out anytime you're in town or if you live locally, like check them out. This is a great place to get some resale Lego at very fair prices. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely come check out their store. They have some good deals going on through the end of the month. Thank you so much to Bricks and Minifigs for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you next time.